So just how much force does a garage door close with? Well, for my half horsepower Chamberlain, it's about 55 pounds force. Now, why do I know that? Well, I had the problem that you go click the button and the garage door doesn't close. It just clicks at you. I did some research and found out that's a sensor eye problem. Um, I've simulated it right now. I've got some tape covering it up. And if I click this, that's the problem that I was having. It just clicks at you. After doing some research, I found out two things. One, you can really override those sensors. I'm gonna hold down the button and it's gonna force close. So as I hold the button down, it's closing even though I have tape covering up one of the sensors. Now, you wanna keep an eye on the door as you're closing it because you're defeating one of the safety systems and now you're kind of the safety system. Okay, so that's one of the things that I, that I figured out while researching. The other thing I ran across was a common garage door test that I've seen garage door techs do when they finish, and it's you drop down a two by four and you close the garage door on the two by four and then it's supposed to rebound and open up again. And I started to wonder, well, how much force is that two by four experiencing? I was just curious. And since I work for NI, a test and measurement company, um, I have easy access to some instrumentation that will let me test that. So, I've got a load cell right here. I'm gonna go drop this in the path of my garage door and squish it. So I'm gonna line up the load cell right about the middle of the garage and right about the point of impact. And I gotta take the tape off. So now my garage door will close without me holding the button. All right, now I'm gonna close the garage door. My software is all set up. And let's see how much force it closes with. All right, right at about 52 pounds of force. So if you ever wonder how much force a garage door closes with, it's about 55 pounds, 50 to 55 pounds. Um, if you're interested in how I made this measurement or some of the equipment that I used, I'm making a follow-on video that I'll put a link to down in the description. Thanks for watching.